Biologist Mark Torregrossa. And first off, you know, hey, we got some 40s on the way tomorrow and Thursday, so I figured I better put on the tropical shirt. What the heck? It's a good excuse, right? But not so tropical this morning in that we do have some patchy freezing drizzle. Now, if you're a radar watcher, and I've found that most people, if you're interested in the weather at all, radar is the number one thing. Remember, this patchy freezing drizzle can be so light that it doesn't show up on, uh, on radar uh, really well, if at all. So I can just tell you that there have been patches of freezing drizzle northern part of the state the most there have been uh, five hundredths to eight hundredths of an inch of ice accumulation in the Gaylord area toward Alpena. Uh, Traverse City has a light coating about 32 33 degrees in a lot of places so it won't be a long lasting thing but it's something that you'll definitely want to be aware of and even in a southeast lower Michigan here's a look at the radar and like I said this is what freezing drizzle that's light looks like on the radar, just those gray speckles that may be reaching the ground and it may not be reaching the ground. Hey, good morning, uh, Katie Teddy, and good morning, Laura Mikko. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning. All right, now we're gonna get into the forecast and show you what's going on. And uh, I apologize, because I hear Mr. Bagel, the dog, the Beagle and Bassett mixed, missing his dad so it sounds like he's going to go nuts here shortly upstairs so here we go uh today is a dry day and by 11 or so most areas should be above freezing and the any iciness should improve this is tomorrow and we're starting to get into a southwesterly wind tomorrow so tomorrow is a mild day and this is tomorrow night this is thursday that's a southerly wind that's ahead of a storm system that will change our weather. Um, and it's a fairly mild, fairly warm pattern. So when does that change come? This is Thursday evening, Thursday night, Friday. So you see that developing storm system. That's still quite a strengthening storm. It's not developing in the spot that gives us a ton of moisture and a ton of snow. This is Friday morning, the cold front coming through, and then Friday evening we've changed by that point we've changed to a, a more of a wintry pattern and then the spokes of splotches of snow showers if there is a better word um if there is a better word we'll rotate around that this is saturday and that would be what i call a lobe of low pressure or a trough of low pressure that swings through the state and it sets off kind of another renewed surge of some snow showers all of this uh, sporadic snow shower activity, not widespread snowstorm type deal. And then into Sunday, it starts to move off. Um, and as we go out into next week, this model and many other models want to just bring little pieces of storm systems our way. So I think we could get into an extended period of an inch of snow here, inch of snow there. This is Wednesday morning, and that's a second cold front coming southward into thursday and friday so in other words we're going back to winter but we're not going back with a bang we're not going back with a monster snowstorm or something like that hey good morning jim shell from howell and hemlock barry schaefer good morning Mo melanie murray is a youper so this is the u.s model just to show you the difference and about the same thing this is friday morning and uh, initially, a band of rain showers will move through Friday morning because it will be mild. And then that churning low pressure center will bring us colder and will bring us start to bring us snow showers. So again, it's just, it's not out of the ordinary for a Michigan winter. It's just going to be a shock to the system from what we've had so far. All right, the reason for the tropical shirt. Not so much today. We're looking at 34, 35 degrees. And in that northern section of the state where you've had the ice accumulation, you know, 34, 35 will help things. This is tomorrow. Look at this. 44 in Detroit and 42 in Ann Arbor. Uh, 40, 41-ish in Saginaw, Bay City, Midland. Also Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, 43 degrees. Uh, Traverse City, 38. Tip of the Mitt, 36 at the bridge. Pretty warm, 
for January. Not record, but pretty warm. John says 31 degrees and freezing mist in Lake Ann, which is uh, around the Traverse City area, west of Traverse City. Hey, good morning, Levon Caraba. How are you doing today? Uh, Thursday is still warm with temperatures in the low 40s in the southern half of the state and upper 30s in the northern half. Friday is kind of deceiving. The high temperature forecast for Friday is early in the morning at 40 degrees. That's when rain showers come through, then falling temperatures, slowly falling, because again, this isn't just a blast of cold into our area. And then we're at uh, Saturday. We're back down into the low to mid 30s. And Sunday, we're starting to inch down 20s north, 30 in the south. A Monday, low 30s, upper 20s north. Tuesday, back to about 32. Wednesday, <laughs> next week, 40 degrees again ahead of that cold front. And the same for Thursday. And then maybe another cooler blast. And I'm going to get into that right now, too for you. This is, let me see what I have picked out here. Okay, so this is the ensemble. This is the extra stuff. I'll recap it for you, those of you that don't want to stick around, but we're going to go out 10, we're going to go out 16 days here coming up. So the recap is the freezing drizzle this morning, be careful, and then uh, watch for temperatures to pop above freezing in the next few hours. Things improve. Very mild. Wednesday and Thursday, and probably with some sunshine in there. Probably not a great deal of sunshine, but probably some sunshine. And uh, then we go back to snow showers as we head into the weekend. Hey, good morning, uh, Mark Ambrosi and Mark Davison. Hey to you. Uh, I'm sorry, Mark Swanson from Davison. Hey, good morning. All right, Nord Schroeder says quarter inch of ice on the windshield of Boyne City. So in the north, if you're traveling that way, or if you're in the north, um, be careful. All right, so what you're looking at now, temperature anomaly at 5,000 feet up. This is the ensemble mode. Sorry, real technical. That's where I lose somebody. Ensemble mode means we take a computer model and we tweak it. In this case, I think it's 31 different times, run it 31 different ways and average those, okay? And it gives us a more stable forecast out into the long range. So here's our upper level temperatures warmer than normal. That translates to warmer than normal at the surface. That's why the tropical shirt, that's why Wednesday and Thursday, uh, temperatures in the 40s, south half of the state. Now the cool down, so we're into late Friday. Now we're into Saturday and Sunday, and the upper level temperatures are starting to cool. Not anything crazy, a few degrees colder than normal, and that translates to upper uh, 20s, low 30s. Now we're into Tuesday of next week, and we're chilly. And then I showed you that little warm-up uh, Wednesday into Thursday, and there it shows up on the ensemble. Um, uh, Tom Ramsey, freezing rain for Niles, uh, probably not too much, maybe in the next hour or so. Uh, Tabitha Deerman, driving to Mississippi this weekend from Metro Detroit. Which day is going to be best, Saturday or Sunday? Let me jump back for Tabitha just for a second. Sorry, folks. I don't have this in my head. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mississippi, Saturday or Sunday. I would go... I would go Sunday, I think, would be uh, a little bit better. Saturday might not be bad. If the roads aren't bad in Michigan on Saturday, you'd be fine. All right. Now we pick it up. So we're in the next week. We get a little bit of a warm-up Wednesday into Thursday. And then look at what the models want to do in the ensemble mode, which is, means they're fairly stable. Out next weekend, uh, you're looking at that's about uh, five degrees or so colder than normal and into the early part of the following week. And now we're out to January 28th. So, you know, that looks like a more sustainable, cooler than normal spell. I don't want to call it colder than normal. But, of course, at that time, we're at the coldest time of our year. Uh, so, you know, you're looking at highs in the teens and 20s in a lot of places. All right, one last thing for you, those that are uh, hanging on. Alicia Johnson, snow for cross-country skiing this weekend? No, nope. this is not a cross-country ski type snow in the Flint area. Okay, so here is your weather system. 
and it's uh, a one to three inch snow, except for the snow belts where it's three to six. Now we're going into next week. And again, my theory that we're going to see bits and pieces of an inch here, an inch there. We're into Friday of next week. The next surge of cold will probably set up lake effect. That is one thing with the mild temperatures. The lakes have stayed warm, and so we can get lake effect on not as cold of temperatures. Um, and we're into next weekend and the following early part of next week. And what you see is you don't see a rip-roaring snowstorm, but you see a lot of off and on snow shower activity. Garrett, wow, I'm going to try this name. <laughs> I'm crazy. Otolakowski. Uh, how long will Old May Winter hang around this year? Will we be still getting snow in April? You know, the climate trend has been warmer winters and a little bit colder later springs. Late March and April has trended colder, actually, as the whole globe warms. Uh, that area of Michigan has trended colder. But, uh, you know, without the lack of big cold, I don't see us having uh, snow into April. That's usually a tough bet, although we do know it happens. It happened uh, last year, didn't it? All right, uh, Jay Harkness, best day this weekend to take down outside lights. This weekend, they're both about the same, probably. They're both about the same temperatures, about the same wind. Maybe Sunday afternoon, the wind dies just a touch. Cindy Byerline, weather for Standish this weekend. Snow showers, one or two inches, and temperatures for highs in the uh, 29 to 32 degree range. There you have it. Thanks for joining me on the M Live Morning Weather Update. We get the tropical shirt for a couple of days to celebrate 40s if you like warm weather. And if you like winter, you can celebrate it looks like for at least a couple of weeks, uh, starting by the time we get into the weekend with a couple of breaks in between. Thanks for joining me. I'm M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa.